guys, I am making some beef stew today. This will be my first video that I'm doing. So I'm getting my oil hot. I've got my truck roast here. Um, I've got it marinating in some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, and some um, red wine vinaigrette sauce. Um, just a little bit. And so now I'm about to season it. I'm just going to put a little seasoning salt on it. Forgot to get my pepper out. I'm gonna put a little pepper on it. Just to your liking. Now I'm gonna put a little flour so that when I put it in here, it gets just a, I'm not gonna be cooking it completely. I am gonna put a little bit of flour, make sure my grease is good and ready for it. And you don't need a lot. You don't want it to be super greasy in the meat. It's going to sizzle just a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit warmer. I'll take the entire roast. I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to take that side and do the same thing to it. I'm going to season it. It's a little seasoning salt. <coughs> A little pepper. I'm going to take a little flour and put that on there as well. And I'm just going to let that get hot. I've already cut up all my vegetables that are going in. I've got some red potatoes here. I've got some carrots that I already bought in the little snack size packs. I've got red onions. I'll be using the Lipton's um, onion soup mix. I've got some celery, two cups of celery, and I'm going to be putting in some garlic. So that's two cups of celery. That's a cup and a half of red onions, and this is four cups of potatoes. Okay, so my roast is almost done, and you always want to use a chuck roast. Don't use any other kind, except with the beef stew. It's going to be the most tender. So I'm just going to take this and lift it up. I'm going to stick it right in my crock pot just like that. I'm just going to let it sit right there for just a minute and get everything else off the stove. And then I'm going to go ahead and put all my other toppings on it. So I'm going to take my potatoes. This is four cups of potatoes. I'm going to put them right in there. I'm going to take my cup and a half of red onions. I'm going to put them right in there. This is two cups of celery. I'm going to put that in there. And then this will equal out to be about two and a half cups of carrots that I will be putting in from the bags. And then not everybody puts mushrooms in their beef stew, but I enjoy mushrooms. I like the woody flavor that it gives to beef stew. So, I put mushrooms. That's about a cup and a half of mushrooms that I add also. And then I'll go ahead and start adding my seasoning. So, I've got the Limpton's onion soup. Lipton's onion soup that I put in, just one pack. And then I'll go and I'll put some salt and pepper. Just for the taste. And I like a lot of pepper. And then I'm gonna put garlic. Now, I use a lot of garlic. Garlic has a lot of health benefits, so I use a lot. Um, you don't have to use as much if you're gonna make this recipe. I would think about two tablespoons would be good, but I'm just gonna really show you how much I use. That's minced garlic that I put in. One more for fun. <laughs> and I always enjoy seasoning. So this is parsley that I'm adding, probably about two tablespoons of parsley. I'm also going to add some oregano to it. Again, because you want it to be a really hearty flavor. Beef stew is really thick and full of goodness. So you definitely want it to be seasoned well. 
that's probably going to be about two teaspoons and then after you've got everything in here I'm going to add some beef broth um, some people may just add water but I like to have flavor all the way through it so I'm just going to take the beef broth that I have I'm going to just put that in there just like that and I'll use about two cups And then I'm just going to let this simmer. There's only a little bit left, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour that on top of it. I'll let it simmer for on low for about four hours prior to me stirring anything. And then I'll kind of stir my vegetables just a little bit. And then I will let it sit and slow cook for the entire eight hours. So I will see you guys back in eight hours.